Hello everyone and welcome to this week's sermon prep. This coming weekend is going to be the fourth Sunday in or <laughs> this coming weekend is going to be the fourth Sunday of Advent. Uh, how the years flew by. It's the last Sunday before Christmas. We are literally smack in the middle of, of December, the last year of the month. The year is gone. 2022 with all its hopes and its joys its its grievances and its pain it's gone now we look forward to another year 2023 and what god has in store for us the liturgy of the word this week is as follows our first reading is from the book of the prophet isaiah chapter 7 verses 10 to 14 while our responsorial psalm is psalm 24 verses 1 to 6 our second reading is a reading from uh, the letter, the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It's Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 7, while our gospel reading is from the gospel of St. Matthew. Matthew, it's also from the first chapter, verse 18 to 24. Isaiah gives, he says that the Lord spoke to, ha to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign. Let it be as deep as Sheol or as high as heaven. But Aha said, I will not ask for a sign. But eventually later a sign is given to him. It says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now, if you think of the context in that time, this would not have made sense. A virgin conceiving and bearing a child, how would that happen? This is a reminder that we've always been, you and I, all of us, we've always been in the mind of God. God has always had the idea and the love to save us. He's always been thinking about us. And that was a sign of what would happen in the fullness of time. When God starts to bring back everything to himself, when he sends us the Son as a Redeemer to die for us, a virgin does indeed conceive and bears a child. And indeed she names him Emmanuel. Our responsorial psalm, our response is, Let him enter the King of glory. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. It is he who settles on the seas, on the rivers he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? It's the clean of hands and the pure of heart, whose soul is not set on vain things. Our second reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Roman, it begins as Paul introducing himself. He says, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Already here, Paul is giving us something of the future. He's going to speak of Jesus, who is a descendant of David according to the flesh, and the one designated as the Son of God in power and according to the Spirit. It's also confirms what I was talking about, that we were always in the mind of God. From the beginning, uh, God, God had us uh, in mind. Uh, and he loved us. He loved us so much that he left the glory of heaven so that he might walk on earth and experience what you and I experience, but in a beautiful way to save us from our sins. Some would even say to save us from our very selves through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations, including yourselves who are called to, be, to belong to Jesus Christ. To all God's beloved in Rome who are called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and our gospel reading the gospel according to matthew here we hear of the birth of jesus christ and that's how it starts it says that the birth of jesus christ took place in this way when mary his mother had been betrothed to joseph before they came together she found to be with the child of the holy spirit and then how how how, how the angel appears to 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 to, to joseph and tells her not to fear to take Mary. And it says this all took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. It's a fulfillment of what we read in our first on our first reading. Once more to show that when before the foundations of the world were set god had you and i in mind he had the plan of our salvation in mind we'll be looking at this then as we as we look forward to to our to our fourth sunday of advent our last sunday before before the coming of christ we hope to see you there then hope to see you online and in person you take care of yourselves bye bye